I apologize for the interruption. I ran out of time on that slot. I will continue where I left off. Uh, $543 billion uh, in, in terms of what we would pay out in form of prebate to the general population is actually a little bit less than half of what it costs to simply comply with the current income tax structure. Okay, You think about things like um, eliminating the need to, to hire accountants and lawyers or to, to purchase um, tax filing software and the computer, the technology that, uh, that those software run on for individual families, it's a huge financial burden upon all of society to have to accommodate those costs just to pay your taxes, okay? This is a massive problem and it's wasteful, wasteful spending, okay, for individuals and small businesses alike. You know, think about the small business, even the Bernie Sanders of the world uh, can, can say positive things about small business entrepreneurship. Yes, they rail against corporate profits and things like that, but they still want to promote entrepreneurship, especially in the form of small local businesses. And that's a wonderful thing because that makes up more than 50% of our economy. Um, but think about the, the difference in compliance costs for a small business to hire a team of accountants or lawyers to comply with the tax structure because they're not reading the hundreds of thousands of pages of tax code in order to properly comply with the legal status of the tax code. But corporations can afford it with no problem, okay? Multi-billion uh, dollar national conglomerates uh, have no problem hiring a team of lawyers to comply with those costs. Small businesses and families absolutely are terribly burdened by this structure, okay? Um, Things like standard deduction, compliance, uh, personal exemptions, tax credits, mortgage interest, and uh, indeed the socialist mindset rails against uh, getting back charitable contribution donations, uh, particularly from the from the churches, from the church systems within uh, uh, various states and federal um, redistribution channels. Um, so all of those things are ended. Uh, deductions are ended, and it's, so it's replaced by prebates, so you don't have to follow along with the new tax guidelines that are updated every year, and, and you don't have to uh, worry about compliance costs or technological expenditures to file your taxes and things like that. Uh, those costs are eliminated, and it's to the tune of more than twice the amount that it would cost to simply send out these prebates to the families that need them for those basic expenditures, okay? So I hope that you have enjoyed this third part of, of this series that it's opened a little bit of the financial uh, information up to you and it's given you, hopefully it's given you reason to go look up some of these uh, details and, and to find the charts and, and to start thinking about how, uh, how inappropriate it is to, for our tax system, the, the way it's administered and, and in terms of both uh, financial costs to society, to individuals, and in terms of morality, okay? It's just not right to, to apply a punitive structure uh, for, for successes, okay? It, 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 it's, a terrible, it's a terrible mindset in, in my own mind to, uh, to attempt to punish the successes of others simply because you believe one group or another is, is the victim of their successes, which is uh, demonstrably untrue in the course of history. A again, I hope that you've enjoyed this, found it informative, and that you'll continue to follow along uh, on this, this consumption tax series. Thank you and have a wonderful day.